The problem statement involves water flow in a pipe, the discharge is specified, the goal is calculate the friction factor. The situation is laid out, the goal is specified. Notice that the friction factor F does not have any units which we symbolize here. Let's go to our ideas and plan. Table F2 gives equations for the friction factor F and the friction factor depends on the value of Reynolds number. If Reynolds number is less than 2000 we have laminar flow, we use this equation. If Reynolds number is greater than 3000 we have turbulent flow and we use this equation. We can also find Reynolds number in this same table. Since the discharge is specified we'd want to use this equation to calculate the Reynolds number. So our plan of attack is calculate Reynolds number with this equation then depending on the value of Reynolds number select either this equation or this equation. Let's go ahead and begin. The plan of attack is documented. Calculate Reynolds number with equation 10-2, then calculate the friction factor using either this equation for laminar flow or this equation for turbulent flow. Let's go ahead and go to calculations. Here's a Reynolds number calculation. To do the calculation I needed kinematic viscosity, so I went ahead and looked that up and documented the value right here. As shown, the Reynolds number is given here. Therefore, the flow is turbulent. I've written the Swami Jane correlation here. In this equation, I need the sand roughness height, K sub S, and I look this up in table 10.4. Roughness height is 0 0.26 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. Now I can do my last calculation. The easy way to solve this problem is to program this and that's the way I always do this. So I plugged the data into my program and I got this value for the friction factor. Hope you enjoyed this solution.